Jessica Duff, she's speaking for six minutes of uh, the Competent Communication Manual, uh, project number six. Her speech is titled, Spirit of the Game. All right, some of you guys know, yes, I am a Vol fan. Explains why I'm in my orange today. Tennessee does play tomorrow. A team from Alabama, no less, University of Alabama at Birmingham. But all eyes are on Fayetteville this weekend. Yes, we know the Hogs are playing Alabama number 10 versus number 1. It's a big deal. So to get started, I need everyone to stand up. If you don't know how to call the Hogs, you're going to call them right now with me. <laughs> we got to get in the spirit of the game. You start down low, it goes... have ever been to Knoxville, Tennessee and attended a game, but it is something just, it, it's a memory you can't forget. And it starts off with early morning rising up. If it's a late afternoon game, get up, TV goes on, 10 a.m., college game day. Any tailgating tent that you walk by, it's going to be on game day. And it's kind of calm as things get started. You have, you know, your low murmur of crowds. You hear the of steaks hitting, starting to hit the grill and the of dipping your cup through the ice chest as you're getting ready to fill your cup up with your non-alcoholic beverages. <laughs> and then as the day gets on, the campus starts to get more and more crowded. Cars are backed up for miles from campus all the way down Kingston Pike in Knoxville, Tennessee, all the way past off the interstate. I mean, you have to plan to get there early so you don't get stuck in traffic. Finding a parking spot is a whole nother chore. You're walking amongst the crowds, and there's orange blobs just everywhere. And if you don't like orange, then don't ever go to Knoxville, because there's orange everywhere. And you start to walk among the tents. I like to kind of hop from tailgate to tailgate and go visit all of my friends. Plus, you get to experience all the different foods that everyone has, has brought for the day. But every now and then, you'll walk by, and some have kids that are running around, screaming, playing, tossing the football. Other crowds, you hear the, the thumping and thumping of rap music as people are somehow using that to get pumped up for the game. Others, you hear cheering because people have already started watching the early games on the TV set up in their tents. And then there's the glorious sound of da na 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 Come on, Doris, sing it with me. It's Rocky Top playing in tents. The most annoying and most glorious song known to man playing at every tent that you walk by. So just about an hour and a half before the game start, it's the tradition. It's called the Vol Walk. Everyone gathers on the side of the campus that goes down to the main entrance of Neyland Stadium where they have the nice, bright, beautiful new sign and entrance outside Neyland Stadium, which I am looking forward to going to see in two weeks when I go to Knoxville. Three weeks. But you, everyone lines up on both sides of the road and the crowds sort of hush a little bit. Everyone's kind of got that jittery anticipation as the band, the cheerleaders, then the football players and the coaches get ready to walk down and enter the stadium. And all of a sudden, you're down in this end, and you hear the slow murmur and the slow cheers as it slowly, 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 and it gets so much louder as it gets to you because you hear the band with their drums marching and coming all the way down the road. They're on their way to the stadium. One of my favorite memories is when Trooper Taylor, who used to be the running, back, running backs coach for Tennessee, he'd come down, and he'd be running up, and he'd be chest bumping all the fans. <laughs> He didn't do that to me one day, which is good, but the kid next to me actually fell over. He got a chest bump so hard. But they make their way around the corner, and they head on into the stadium. Now the gates are open. Fans can start spilling in. If you want to, some go back and continue their tailgating. I like to get in there early, get my good seat, get settled, and get ready for the game. 
everyone is getting seated. You're watching the clock tick down for when kickoff is supposed to begin. But before that, another great tradition that I just love about Tennessee, it's called running through the T. Arkansas tries to do it with their running through the A, but it's just, it's just not the same. <laughs> they form the T, because Tennessee started it first, of course. Get them, they're they, at the gate, and you can hear, when I used to work in Knoxville, Tennessee, for the, um, for the Vol Network there, I'd be standing on the sidelines, and in the tunnel you'd hear, oh, oh, you'll do it with me, oh. It's all the players there getting pumped up, ready to run through that tunnel. So they run through the tunnel, the crowd's cheering, they're so loud, they're so excited because they think Tennessee's going to win a game. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> so they get to the sideline, it's time for the game to begin. And just the course of a game is just like you're attending any other football game. The crowd cheers when a first down happens. The crowd cheers when they cause a turnover, when the team that you're cheering for causes the turnover. And they cheer when there's a touchdown. And then guess what starts? The band starts singing that glorious Rocky Top song, and the crowd joins in, and it gets louder and louder, and even though we're all off-key, it still sounds so beautiful. It's one of the things that I love about a Tennessee game. And every now and then, they have the, the times when it's a key play that's coming up, and you hear, borrow your keys here. Mm. Everyone in the crowd starts shaking their keys. There you go, that's right, Phil. It's a key play. But, but I do have to say, one of my favorite, and will always be my favorite, is just the sound when they sing Rocky Top, when it's a good play, when it's a touchdown, and when the game is over. Win or lose, the game ends with singing Rocky Top. Then the crowd, the, the players, if it's a win, the cheerleaders come down to the student section, and we all get arm in arm, and we sing the alma mater. And those are my memories of being in the spirit of the game at Neyland Stadium. And here's for a win for the Hogs this weekend. Woo Pig Suey. <laughs>